let me tell you about a TikTok that I saw that made me end my relationship. And I know you're probably like, girl, you're crazy. Yeah, I probably am. I came across this TikTok video where a girl was talking about how she went on a date and a guy asked her like, hey, so how many guys am I in competition with? How many guys am I competing with? And her response was, you're competing with me. You need to make my life better than I already make it And that's a mentality that I've never had before Which is so stupid of me Because I grew up in a family where like being alone is the worst thing ever So I was taught, you know, just choose the best man there is Go out with a bunch of them, choose the best one And that has not worked for me Because I am constantly too focused on finding the best man to be by my side Instead of me being my own best man So she broke up with her boyfriend Because some random woman on TikTok convinced her That she has to focus on herself and wait for a man to treat her better compared to how she treats herself. This basically means, any time she treats herself better than her partner, she will think she can do better. And her partner has to keep readjusting his behavior to suit her needs. You should only treat somebody well based upon how they treat you, but she thinks somebody should treat her well based upon how she treats herself. It's one of the most conceited, vain and self-absorbed teachings I've ever heard from modern women on TikTok. One of the worst I ever heard. <laughs> Men are so boring. What happened to them? I am fun. I'm flirty. I'm silly. And I'm cute. And I have been like flirty with some people just texting, exchanging communication. And I'm like, oh, mm, cute photo of me. Oh. Little, it's a little scandalous whatever it's fun i'm having fun and they're like that's crazy I'm sorry that's crazy it, i'm a work of art and i have just bestowed upon you a gift and you go whoa you're you're hot oh write me a poem say something interesting be funny at least for the love of god i mean what what's a girl to do i'm just supposed to carry all of the entertainment i just have to be funny and hot and quippy and all these things it's exhausting apart from her arrogance and vanity in her professing how great she thinks she is men are not here to be clowns and entertain her if she is so wonderful why doesn't she entertain the guy and keep the conversation going? After all, men are always expected to lead conversations with boring women. Yeah, and I'm tired of it! If we're texting and you give me an ahaha, haha, ahaha, ha, in lowercase, I will not reply to that shit. Okay? Laugh. Give me an aha or an LMAO, LOL, give me all caps, okay? I hate that shit. Like, just tell me you don't wanna talk. Ahaha. Ah, ah. That's it. ask a question please because i really don't understand um from my previous experiences that i've had um when you're talking to a guy and you pre-warn them bear in mind you pre-warn them you're you say look i'm not being funny but i'm just letting you know now that i'm needy and um i'm quite clinging and they're like no no that's fine like i i like that i it makes me feel wanted and then actually fast forward a couple like a few months and they're like mm, you're smothering me like you're, you're just too much and i'm like i i fucking told you this i told you and then you pull back and then they're like i don't think you're interested in me anymore like you don't speak to me how you used to and you're sitting there like I told you this, I told you this about me, but you said it was fine and then it was too much and now you don't think I'm interested? Like, I, I don't get the male brain, I don't get it. The guy obviously did not realize how needy she actually was. There is a good clingy and there is the type of clingy where she is peeping through your window during early hours of the morning while you're asleep. Straight up stalk.